Hello, welcome back to Control. Right now we are looking for the Japanese paper lantern. The sealed threshold hole. Ah, of course I took the wrong turn again. It's over here. I couldn't find the magic light, but I guess I'll leave it for the last. By the way, I'm gonna swap the pierce out for shutter. Because, no, we shouldn't have two weapons that require us to. Mm, well, 64, 69, 71. And that require. That's so little ammunition, okay? See speed. Well, that's actually very nice. By the way. Be able to hold up the thing. The face. Nope. I pressed the wrong. Right. Change my weapons. the hell? No, no, no. Hold. Space. Right. That's an altered item up there. Up there. Looks like I need to hit that shield harder. <laughs> I'm getting lost in here constantly. It was came... I can there. No, that's not true. <laughs> it is... <laughs> no, I think I came from here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's over there. Okay, now we'll go to the medical. Oh, it's so far away, though. Oh, if for logistics, security. Fine. We'll get rid of. I'm trying to get rid of the, all of those. Mm. Altered items. Uh, yep. Straight for there. Security. But do not. So there we need to put the medical in. Cool. By the way, does the lady still need some more time to work on the oh, no, yes. Okay, uh, so let's look Yeah I forgot. My mom called it and as you know you always speak on when your mom is calling and yeah now I'm finished like, I think it was to of course it appeared here I think the vicinity of altered objects are making them appear wait we are hand chair I will use the hunter against you. Just so you know, I will use every. Oh, 
every available to me. Everything available to me against you. Wait, it's what is that? The fuck? Can't chair. <laughs> Hand chair, okay. But the wheelchair, the peace chair. Okay. Respond. Wait. Uh, that was a short cut. No. Yeah, we are in security right now, so we can just get out of there that way. Yep. <laughs> and moving wrappers in that others. And there was some over there. That was strange. Uh, somehow I am the hand chair <laughs> translated in my mind as a, a wheelchair. <laughs> I didn't expect that, okay? That's no normal piece of paper. What? what?
all those different sounds are not okay. Oh, I need report. I am being contacted by the past president of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Use in earnest. Are they... I think they are, should be all in here. Another report? Really? I miss so much. Hello, Avi readers. The Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table at the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading! Penny. Oh, what the hell? Okay, they never cease to be creepy. I like that. It's consistent. Hi, ah, is this sound a letter or just some random sound? Maybe you should try getting higher. Wait, do we see this? Just look at it. I don't know anymore. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. Yeah, <laughs> we've seen that Stolen one. Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disc held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. We've seen that one. Reading in that left. No, this one's close. Oh. God damn it, I keep forgetting how to do this. Maybe it is in here. Probably the pneumatics, but in the mail room, maybe. Where the moving metals could have been. Was it in the mail room? By the way, why is this place called Dead Letters? Did anyone explain this to us? I don't quite remember.
No, it says it's in the dead letters. Period. Try and get the other side. This isn't the communication department, but the other way out of here is closed off. Mm. It is full of fungus or the mole. <sighs> yes, I'm gonna overuse. Flying ability because otherwise I'll just forget about it and we went around. It should be somewhere. I'm not lost, you're lost. Um, over here. Okay. Let's go back to the dead letters then. Maybe it's maybe nope, it's not in the bathroom. Here we are. Let's be fine. Can we get up there? I doubt that. And try. Yeah, nice. And I see another letter. Do some proof. Okay. You did not want to get down. Stop it. Thank you. Should be one more page. How do you know that? Dear elected official, thanks to the recent smoking ban in my state, I'm happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in the next election. As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because smoke is toxic to the aliens that the government sold our planet to in a secret deal. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air would be poison to them. If you government traders can't stop people from smoking, then you will get your million of dollars from the aliens. I have a website. People know what's going on. We're going to keep smoking no matter what. This is a national emergency. Politicians are handing the plant over to alien overlords. We won't let you. They will resist. I will smoke forever. Sign a proud smoke rebel patriot. And of course he didn't sign his name. What's so proud are you? Wait, we can get even high in this place. So let's check out this room for six. No, it's four. Yes. And that's another report. Dear gentlemen of the Society of Science, I it has been some time since I sent my initial letter. I hope it is not the case that you have dismissed my claims or tried. In that hope, I'm writing you to want. I'm writing you to once more ask for your help in understanding the oddity that has befallen in my home. I have recently begun renting a new apartment in the city. The space is nothing special, though for a time I found the isolation quite soothing. Recently I have begun experiencing a strange occurrence. When I'm in my kitchen, a tiny little thing with not much but a thing, I sometimes lose myself. My surroundings change, I find myself standing on strange dark stone. I stare out at the colorless sky, as white as in disturbed snow, terrified of moving. Perhaps this is a brain issue? I think not, as it feels terribly real. This has been occurring for some months now, and I have become frightened of entering the kitchen. If it's not too much of an inconvenience, I would really appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see what they make of it. I await your response with little expectation but with great hope. Very truly yours, Lorraine Fitzgerald. And that was all. Okay. 
Although I think there was there's another level. No, that can Okay, let go. Another one. My clock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move and I think it's angry but I keep apologizing and it won't stop but I said I'm sorry, 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 but it won't leave me alone and I don't know what it wants. I can't keep apologizing. Go for the... You see now too, it told me everyone is here and I need to be careful so they don't see me right in the center. It wants me to stay with it, my eyes on its eyes and moving very fast but I can't keep going and I worry they will forget about me so indeed I will write you about this because I can't help going. But the cat will because of its eyes, blah 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 blah. It reminded me of a thing for a beaver troop. I want to be useful. Well, if you... Very tricky. What the f? Okay, I thought I saw something. I'm a plate suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plate suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plate suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plate suit in a blue. Blank. Cause I'm afraid if I read it too many times I'll go mad. Okay. Going even higher. Oh, the last letter. You don't. No, don't. Okay. You need to know where it's gonna end up. That was easy. Done and done. Hey, you have questions and the prophets have your answer. If you are truly intrigued, watch the time. We've lost about 45 days in the past 4 years. The shortening of days, this is why the Vatican is a sundial and also simultaneously a keyhole. Learn the thing while I'm here. If you want the secret of everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun plus moon are composed of plasma, simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you, I, and humanity reside. I like how that may have made some sense, but doesn't whatsoever. To, us, to the esteemed members of the American Psychiatric Council, I am writing you to inquire about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health. I am aware that there are many books purporting to contain the true meanings of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not usually done, but if I would greatly appreciate your thoughts of my condition. Ever since I was young, I have had intensely vivid dreams. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these feel mar markedly different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small, empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at its center. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Because of this recent incident, I have decided to seek help. The doctor says I am physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thanks. F thank you for your valuable time. Um Okay. I press space twice and I was wondering what the hell? Why am I what? <laughs> I thought I broke the game. Oh. Don't slip. It's full of okay, it's full of letters. I guess we can go back now. Been there, we've been there. 
Yeah, I've been pretty much everywhere in this place. As far as we can visit every place. Okay, where's the... Okay, we can go to Central Executive, which is... Uh, oh, it may be that way. <sighs> I hate navigating in this place. <laughs> so annoying sometimes. Over here, I think. Might be. Not for here. Uh, what? I heard that he voluntarily entered captivity. What happened to you? Is there anything in here? Okay, more tired guys. Maybe Paul wants to. Oh, what's up? Put the record on. Jukebox, okay. Okay, but we'll do this this first. After we talk. I Arish. found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Uh, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have rolled back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. What's the deal with Blackrock? Did we talk about that? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on that. I don't Blackrock. think we did. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Oh, fucking lab coats, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. Yeah, we didn't talk with him. What do all. you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, I, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most Rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle threshold? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. Lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, I didn't want to know. Well, we know what chunks they find. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. 
She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. Perhaps the room we are not the of the elevator. I have to go. Me too. The, the elevator You're not the only one with this, you know. Can't use got them. So there's something behind this. Yeah, how do we go? Based on the success of America Overnight, we would like to propose the creation of a television series that presents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment in order to popularize these concepts among the civilian population and create less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranormal events. We can also use a solid media outlet to test paranormal concepts on civilian audiences, seeing how they react to certain facts presented as fiction in the event that the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot, rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seems prom promising, especially considering its content and tone are precisely what we're looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. Ooh, ooh, we killed that thing. Okay, and it seems oh like we can still she have to write everything in a made-up gibberish code. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find him for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish, and I won't let them stay hiss. Okay, so we have another I have to go. Thank you. Me too. Me. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Hmm. What'd you say? You're getting a bit sussy, though. Uh, no, we Oh, over there. Oh my god, did she have to write everything in a made up Jewish code? Fuck it. Okay, but David is. David? From the HRAs is purely no, not David. Every variant of the to examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior. Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of lack of reliable communications between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate the ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it becomes possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that the timeline may help answer. How did the his get past the internal lockdown? How does his resonate? advance through space, deliberately or un uniformly. What is their ultimate goal? The outside world, a cross-dimensional destination, refer to blank or full report. But how did Darling create it? If we understand the his to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, is an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences in the incantation where recite, recite, recited in a different language? The most common word used is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen, you want this to be true. You must want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you the his are referring to? Does the his belief humanity possibly a uh, non his life? Wants to join it? To be consumed by it? Is that his goal? The second most used words are true and time. Is this possibly the his stating how they are arrived here? Or an indication of sage? There is clear intention in the words. This missing the incantation as nonsense, as some of my colleagues recommend, is beyond idiot. Okay. And I actually think that before we talk to Pope. 
we're gonna take a little break here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!